Yo, 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 what is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Lottery Stocks here. Today, we have a very important video regarding the Fed and reverse repos. And if you don't know what it is, we're going to go over that. So tune in for this video. All I ask for you to do is hit that like button. Let's get right into it. Now, I've seen a lot of talk about Fed and reverse repos and what is actually happening. So, Unusual Whales is a very reliable source. If you don't know them, go add them on Twitter. And this is what they posted earlier. Reminder, three days ago, Powell stated he was not worried about reverse repos. This is the highest it's ever been. GME, AMC, Wish, Sundial. He tags all of these. And that's going to come up a little bit later in the video. He also posted reverse repos by the Federal Reserve was over $1 trillion today. You read that right, 1.039 trillion. I'm, I believe it was 1.4. This is the highest ever. So guys, we're gonna go over what this means for AMC. And this is pretty much, I could read all this to you, but this is just some guy on a Reddit ex explaining why the reverse repos reaching the max limit could bring a lot of problems. But I'm not going to read into that just because a lot of people are a little bit annoyed about the whole reddit thing i just don't want to get into that so if you don't know what a reverse repo is guys right i'm going to try to break it down very simple and by doing so we are going to take a great example of somebody we hate citadel so how does a reverse repo work right why is it a thing well it's to keep liquidity in the markets right so the Federal Reserve tries to keep liquidity in the markets and keep everything calm and still. So when companies or institutions have liquidity issues, they get a contract written out by the Fed, by the Federal Reserve, that pretty much states the Federal Reserve is lending you this money. You're going to pay interest on it and pay us back when you can. And if it takes too long or it gets or too much is borrowed from the Federal Reserve, as in too way too many uh way too much liquidity in reverse repos which is what's happening all of these will get called back to the fed and potentially a lot of bad things could happen to the liquidity in the market so guys that's pretty much a breakdown of what reverse repos are and we're going to bring this into an example with citadel and what could be happening right now with amc gamestop and everything else citadel is shorting melvin capital and any other company or institution that has borrowed money from the federal reserve so right here we have citadel let's say citadel stocks short positions etc tank right down 100 percent. they're tanking they're tanking they're tanking and they're very close very very close to getting margin called um forced liquidation margin calls on their account on their portfolio so with that being said we are all looking for margin calls anybody holding amc you guys know that already so this would be very good uh if this was the case if citadel has been borrowing money from the feds remember guys we can speculate on this but it seems as though this is the case right so citadel's positions start tanking you guys get the whole um Thing with this so then they go over to the fed the federal reserve the federal reserve then lends liquidity to citadel and earns interest off of what they're lending citadel so in the long run citadel is losing a bit of money from taking this contract we'll say taking this money to borrow because they have to pay interest on it i don't know what that interest rate may be but the reason this happens is the Fed profits from interest and also keeping liquidity in the market and Citadel profits from exempt margin calls. So they do not get margin called. And that's pretty basic. That's a pretty basic example of it. So if you have a dying company, dying business, and like the time of crisis, reverse repos went very high when corona first hit the covid virus first hit because a lot of businesses were losing a lot of money and a lot of places were going out of business um due to covid so what was happening is a lot of businesses started uh borrowing money from the fed and reverse repos went insanely high to 500 something billion i believe i i believe i made a video on that way back and now they are pretty much doubled that and when is this going to stop i hope i hope we're getting close what pretty much happens is there is a limit 
this can happen because well you can say well wouldn't this just go on forever can't they just print money well this and that well guys here's the thing the problem where it comes in is where the u.s cannot default right if a default is when the u.s is in debt they have to pay it back and they cannot so what happens is to in order to not default the fed then needs their money back from every single institution there is so let's say citadel borrowed money melvin capital borrowed money we'll say mcdonald's borrowed money right they call all of this money back to the fed in order to not default when us has to pay debt back this is pretty much what is happening guys so if it is getting too risky for the the core of the operation the fed this is what's going to happen and then citadel's liquidity is going to tank if this is the case and they will be margin called on every position they have and same with every other business i know this is very sloppy i hope you guys are sort of understanding i'm gonna try and make a quick example right here just in my head just take a listen right so i need we'll say right guys we'll say i only have ten dollars to my name right but i have a steady job and i really 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 need to buy this i don't know 100 pack case of water it's 20 bucks right i need it to survive for the month or else i have no drinking water right my water's off in my house etc things like that all right no matter what it is i need that extra money from you to survive so i'm coming to ask you as a friend i need to borrow 10 bucks and when I give it back to you, I'm gonna give you $15 back. That's pretty simple, guys, pretty basic. The thing is, you already lent out $90 to your other friend, and now you're lending me 10, and all you guys had to start with was 100 bucks. So now it is very, very risky, because if your dad over here, the one that gave you the money, is saying, Hey buddy, you're in debt and I need that hundred dollars for your phone bill, your car insurance, whatever it may be. You're going to have to come to me and the other guy you lend $90 to and instantly take that money back. And then you know what happens? I got to give that water back to the store or if I even bought the water yet, who knows, right? I have no more drinking water. And that is when, that is pretty much a prime example of what the reverse repo is and what could actually happen to citadel melvin capital any other institutions and any small businesses out there that actually borrowed money from the feds and yeah guys i hope this breakdown video actually helped you out if it brought any value to you please hit the like button that's literally all i ask and if you want to hit the subscribe button it is free and the great part about that is you can change your mind at any chance so there it is guys i love you all lottery stocks out who like a hell we gon' get to this bad when we focus on complaint but trapping is all that we got All of us gon' make your one day like church